What does the N mean in Peter N. Smith's? Hmm. Okay, Peter is nice, he's neat, he's nifty, he's noble, um, and nutty. <laughs> it means N is for nice, because Dr. Smith, you are very nice, and I appreciate that. Secondly, I think it means now I am leaving, and we wish you the best. Thirdly, I think it means never saying no. Uh, and lastly, it means not enough zeros. And that's what it takes to be a great fundraiser. Well, we think the N in Peter N. Smith's stands for something in agriculture. Don't you agree, ladies? I do, definitely. Absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. How about, I think N means nectarines, right? And it's got to be nectarines, right? Peter, nectarines. No, maybe not. Yeah. How about nutmeg? Nutmeg. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice word. Spicy. <laughs> Peter Nutmeg Smith. Mm. Maybe not. No, maybe not. I know. I bet it's navel oranges. Navel oranges. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe too much orange. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. No orange. Well, could be nematode. Nematode. And there are good nematodes. Absolutely. <laughs> there are some. So not Right. Maybe not. Yeah. All right. What about nature? Mm. Nature. Nature's wonderful. Love it. Here, nature's. Here, nature. It still doesn't ring right. No, I think I've got it. Yeah. So? Nuts. 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 That's Peter that nuts. Smith. That's perfect. <laughs> He's nuts. <laughs> In a good way. You want to know what the N stands for? I'll tell you what the N stands for. It stands for. it means nicest boss in the world. I kind of came up with the idea that N really means no wrinkled ties. And so I've kind of adopted this kind of crazy uh, position here of having a tie out like this. Sorry, do I have to start over? Do you really think this looks that goofy? Oh, sorry. Uh, let's see, N. Nay, nebulous, nefarious? No, no, that doesn't work for Peter. How about nifty, natty, nimble, and novel? Sounds closer, but I choose necessary and notable. In other words, someone essential, compelling, and distinguished. But that creates the problem of renaming him Peter N. N. Smiths. Oh well, Peter, nix it if it's a nuisance. We would like you even if you were Peter C. Smiths. The N. and Peter N. Smiths, to me, represents the name Nieves. Peter's like one of the Nieves boys with their hands out, always asking, where is the money? Peter N. Snitz, also known as Notorious. Now, Notorious is also known around campus by some other names. Dr. P, Dr. Notorious, Mr. Big, and some other names that I can't mention. Now, Notorious is wanted in four states. The other states don't want him. And Notorious is dangerous. So if you see him, be sure that you're armed with a checkbook. Also, Notorious says he's giving up his nasty, naughty ways. But we all know that he can't golf, so there you go. And he says he's giving up those wallet stealing days, so we can only hope for the best. And if you see the little missus, the sweet Sue, be sure and give her your condolences because Notorious is going to be spending a lot more time sitting around home polishing his whatever. I think that the word me. Dr. Smith is always dressed to the T, always looking very dapper with his tan suit, and bulldog tie, always looking very, very well dressed. 
impeccably dress. What does the N stand for? To me, it stands for notorious. Peter is so well known throughout the CSU system as a star in development and advancer. What does the N in Peter and Ms. Smith mean? He's the Fresno State Negotiator. They're behind me again, aren't they? You guys ruin everything. Really? Do you have to ask? Name tags. Every time we have an event. Peter wants to know, did you do name tags? Peter, there's only three people, but did you do name tags? So, Peter, we did name tags. Navigator. Helen, this itinerary looks good. However, I have a few changes. Instead of going to DC on Tuesday, I'm gonna go on Monday, 6 a.m. Arrive 3.38 p.m. Check in at the Hamilton Crown. I set up a dinner meeting that night. Tuesday, I'm going to take the taxi to the Capitol building, do my legislative visits, attend the VIP dinner, Peter's taking care of that, but I will need name tags, spend the night, Wednesday, I'll have lunch with the congressman, I'll take the Acela Express to New York, stay at the Grand Hyatt, attend the alumni reception, then come home on Thursday. Got it? Well, in my view, it's Newton, like Isaac Newton. Peter has this amazing sense of discovery. He has this amazing sense of distinction for Fresno State, and he certainly has been a champion of diversity. In my personal experience and observation, it's been for nurturing. Um, Dr. Smits has been that nurturing, advisory kind of person who has really helped guide us on a personal and a professional level. Uh, by encouraging us to think outside the box and to try new things and to really explore all the options that could be available in solving various problems. I had to do quite a bit of research, uh, quite a bit of digging, but I think I found some reliable sources and this is the information that I received. Now back in the 1940s, Peter's mom was a very young and impressionable young woman and she was a lover of the arts. She happened to go to a performance at the Apollo Theater where she saw this rising young star, a singer slash comedian. She fell in love with him. Of course, later when Peter was born, this, uh, his mom was interested, really was hoping that he was talented and that he would go into the theater arts. She was, of course, extremely disappointed that uh, he instead chose to go into higher education as a career. But in any event, the young star, or rising star, went by the stage name of Nipsey Russell. And that is uh, Peter's middle name. Nipsey, Peter Nipsey Smith.